Hello everyone, welcome to a corner farming in the Philippines. The area was uh, going to have to dig for a, uh, at least half the day by himself. I have got to water today. Uh, hopefully I can get done before noon or by one o'clock after lunch and I'll come down here and help Mario. Tatai and uh, everybody but me is going down to close to Tag Bilar and uh, Jimmy's wife Marcia who is Tatai's cousin lost her husband uh, four days ago I think uh, lost her husband Jimmy and you know I'm not a big I'm not a big funeral weight guy I just don't I just don't like it I went to my parents funerals uh, because you know they were my parents but uh, you know even some good friends and other family members who I love dearly but I just I'm just not a funeral guy so I'm not going to be going down there today um, because because I don't like funerals and because uh, I've got work to do here so I'm going to water until noon or one-ish and then I'll come down and help Mario and uh, we'll do what we can here I just wanted to you know this is all freshly laid dirt in here and uh, there's some bird crap and there's some bird crap it's just like a, a steady stream along here here's more there's more uh, you can clearly see it now that uh, it's laid on fresh dirt. Go on, Nini. Come on. Go on. Uh, it's all along this bank. And so that's how we're losing uh, so many fish. That's why we're not getting the harvest numbers. There's more here. More here. I mean, every two or three feet, there's some bird crap. And what that means is, is that and it's all and it's all the way around all these ponds except now for the one that we have covered so we're going to do our level best to cover at least one more of these this next month uh, preferably you know the weighted uh, they all need to be covered but it's uh, as with everything on this farm uh, there's a lot of things that we need to spend money on but a finite amount of money so um, we're going to do our very best to uh, get these ponds covered. Uh, that reminds me, before I start watering, I've got to go get some gas, fire up the pump. Pond 1 is almost full, and I actually need to run some water into these other ponds for a little, uh, well, for now just to fill them up. But in two or three days time some water has changed I don't, I don't know what this weather is going to do I don't think we're going to get any rain even though there there are some partial clouds today I don't think there's uh, much rain going to be going on so get my water and hose and off we go all right, well, old Nereo's heart wasn't in it today. Uh, he basically got about 10 feet of this laid down. Uh, he was working by himself. And, uh, you know, Nereo is a hard-working man. But one thing Nereo does not like to do is work by himself. <coughs> Tatae went with Marcel and Gina and Red and Charlie uh, down to his cousin's. Uh, to give her a little comfort from her losing her husband and so and you know I I I know Nario and I really wanted to help him today but I can't be in two places at once and I had to uh, water today and I've got to do some more watering tomorrow uh, he didn't he didn't come back after lunch so I don't know if he's gonna come back tomorrow if he is, I'll just have him, you know, I'll try to get him to understand just to take his time, do what he can do, and when I'm through watering, I can help him. 
because we still need to uh, you can see from the water right there that's just leaking over from the pond this what we've built up here needs to go all the way back about another well about to that uh, tree right there that little I forget the name of it uh, it's, uh, it's the dye tree uh, about another 20 feet let's say all in through these bananas it, it all needs uh, at least this wide uh, all along here now I had uh, I was thinking about it earlier today look a deeper pond is a better pond and while I had kind of sort of made up my mind to uh, lay the guys off uh, this, this coming Saturday evening, um, Ablett has only worked, I think, one, one and a half days this week so far. And Nereo's got two half days. Uh, top tie will have missed two days so there will be a little extra budget for next week what I want to do look a deeper pond is a better pond and it stays cooler for the fish and as long as where as long as we are moving dirt around we might as well raise up this dam this bank another six or eight inches just like we did on the dam at pond four uh, it could probably handle another foot but I don't know if we're gonna have enough time to make it happen we could come up another six inches easily and not not have to worry about breaching this side plenty of dirt over on that other side so yeah, uh, we've already added about six inches of this from what it was before. And I think we'll add another six inches to it. So that'll make that easily a four foot deep pond. Easily four feet deep. We're going to... I just ran the pump into this pond a little bit. Uh, I, I replaced some soil here. Uh, to bring up the level of the water a bit. We're going to uh, make this uh, spillway, we're going to concrete this in. Uh, make it, I don't know, four inches higher than that mud there. Six maybe. And uh, concrete all this in. Uh, something close to matching the, the new height of the pond. And we've got a, a lot of uh, dirt here that we can move it's not really loose dirt anymore but it's not quite as hard packed as it could be so we can build this up here I don't know another couple inches along through there and then another couple all the way back and we need to remove this uh, tree that fell over because it's right in the middle of the bank and it, you can see from the moisture here that uh, it, it's making a leak in the in the side so we need to remove that and replace it with dirt and uh, just fix this and build it up a little more better and we still need to uh, redo these two uh, spillways here So what we're going to do is build up this build up this bank here where uh, not where they're standing, but right along this line here, so that it forces runoff from the plateau and from uh, the neighbors here into the drainage ditch and around this pond. Uh, quite a bit of dirt to move right here. To build this up because we got to build it up I don't know maybe as high as I'm standing here and I'm standing uh, so four feet of dirt we got to make a four foot wall here 
pretty much as high as that. So <clears throat> we've got a lot of dirt still to move <coughs> in that canal because it's got to be at least it's got to be at least a, uh, at least a foot deeper than what it is. It's hard to judge exactly. Uh, but at least a foot deeper and all the way around there that's a lot of soil that we can move in here and build this bank up a bit building that bank there we can just use this soil that was uh, put into the road here that's not going to be a, a hard deal and depending on uh, how much I want to drain my wallet next week but Marcel and I talked about it, and I'm not, you know, I, I don't know everything about everything. But what I, what I do know is that it's going to cost probably six or seven thousand pesos, maybe eight thousand, to bring that municipal tractor in here and have them do this field. Now the reason you work up a field prior to planting is so, that the, is so that the soil is nice and loose and the roots can the roots can expand quickly and there's a little bit of oxygen down in there with the roots it just it's just everything is more better <coughs> so bringing the municipal tractor in here would be about 9,000 pesos probably it'd take him a couple hours to do these fields that I wants to um, spray it with I assume it's a different name here but I assume it's something like Roundup and kill all this grass I'm okay with that um, whatever he wants to do look um, this is the reason that I'm thinking not to bring in the municipal tractor and not to have this have these fields worked up is that we're going to be flood irrigating these out of the water from this pond and with this clay soil once you once it gets saturated once it's going to turn into adobe I mean it's going to be it's going to get hard and all that nice loose soil and all that oxygen down in there and all that nice looseness for the roots is going to disappear the first time we water it so in my mind we're wasting 9,000 pesos and from what happened with the municipal tractor, it could take a month, a month to get that tractor out here. So I'm thinking what we'll do uh, next week, because I, I don't think we're going to get to it this week. Maybe if Ablett, show, Ablett and Nario uh, show up uh, Saturday, uh, that they would get to it, but I don't think so. I, I think, because I don't think Tata is going to be back in time tomorrow. Uh, to get any meaningful work done and so that just leaves Saturday and Saturday we need to do these spillways and move a little dirt and, and again that depends on manpower what I want to do look we still have a lot of soil to bring in off that drainage ditch I never did like digging this out here and putting it up on the dam I just that's just Tatai's way we did the same thing over here in front of this dam and we ended up with a big hole and that's what we've got here. That water is about a foot deep. And we can't put a crop in there with a low spot. Um, so I'm thinking some of that dirt that's over there, we're going to fill this back in. And what we need to do is we need to dig a ditch. Well, might as well start right there. All the way down to that, to where it drops off into the neighbor's rice field. We need to dig, we need to dig the irrigation ditch now. That it's a little bit wet and it's not it'd be easier digging right now and drain this field because there's standing water out there everywhere and so I want to drain this field and I think we'll just what we're gonna do is we'll get all this grass out we'll get it killed and hoe it out and just plant just plant the crops because working the soil it, it's not gonna make any difference um, it, it just won't it might get it might get the plants and they might have a week of nice loose soil to grow in but after that 
After we water it, nah, then we're right back to this hard packed clay. So I think we're just going to dig a ditch right down the center here. We're going to have a, a field on each side of that irrigation ditch. We're going to use the checks from the rice fields. And um, we'll use the ditch we're going to dig as the irrigation ditch. And uh, I don't know if Top Tie wants to make this all one field or we'll split this as well. I'm thinking we'll just split this since we have to have the, the ditch down it. Um, I, if we have time this next week, uh, that's what we're going to do. If we don't, then it's, uh, that then that's a you know that, that's a big project, and it's going to be me and Tata doing it. If we uh, if it gets to like Wednesday or Thursday, well, and and, the, and it's not done, then it's going to be a me and Tata job. And we're both uh, I'm pushing 60, and Tata is 60. It's not the most fun in the world, but it has to be done. I want to drain that field and spray it and I'd like to get something planted in it within a couple weeks and get this show on the road. So that's the plans for next week because I don't think there's going to be much more happening this week. We, we shall see. Thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.